What's going on, guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here, and a lot of you dudes were telling me to talk about this whole F Zero thing that's apparently on Kickstarter. From what I understand, that people were telling me beforehand, just using context clues, it seems as if this whole thing is trying to make a spiritual sequel to the F Zero franchise. But um, there is apparently something that's rocking the boat right now. But for now, let's look into the article, and then we'll go into this as time goes on. I wanted to report on this last night, but I was a little bit too tired, and plus, I wanted to report on the previous topic, which was the um, which was that picture that everyone kept bothering me about. Anyways, let's take a look at this right now. Um, as you can see, we're here on My Nintendo News, um, and a new F-Zero clone appears on Kickstarter. So I'm not going to tell you guys exactly what I saw until we actually look at the Kickstarter. Apparently, it made a couple of mistakes, and uh, I'm thinking it has something to do with licensing, commercial rights, and all that stuff. But let's look into this. So those lusting after the neglected F-Zero franchise may want to cast your eye on this upcoming Kickstarter project. The game is dubbed the spiritual successor to F-Zero and certainly shares a striking resemblance visually. For the project to be funded, the team of six people needs 115,000 euro. You can check out Zero Gravity AX videos, artwork, and information here. So here's the thing. There was already a game kind of on the eShop right now. I don't know if it's in development or if it was already completed, but there is a game that people were telling me which involves fast racing that kind of has an F-Zero feel to it as well, too. We're probably going to come into contact with the title of that game at some point during this video, but if we don't, I already am aware of that game, just not to the extent that some of you guys may be as well, too. I wanted to look into it a bit more, but, you know, I'm juggling a ton of things at one time. Anyways, let's take a look at what the Kickstarter is saying right now, because I think it got canceled or something. I don't know. I don't know for a fact. Zero Gravity AX by Dave. So they have 33 backers so far, um, $1,000 out of the 127 that they need, um, 127,000 that they need, um, 28 days to go. So Zero Gravity AX will be the spiritual successor of the fastest and most iconic racing games of all time. And the project will be, del oh my goodness. All right, so the project, like I, I told you guys, I did see something about the project not making it to the point where he'll be able to live because they did something wrong. Apparently they made a mistake and this is really bad news. I'm, I'm glad I waited a little bit before I reported on this one because I would have hated to have made a video where I got excited about this and super hype only to see it get shot down hours later. And this project just got shot down. The project will be deleted any minute now. Unfortunately, the site has some issues right now and we can't delete it at the moment. We thank you for your feedback. What happened here? I mean, we can read through all this stuff that talks about the game's features, but it's not really going to be of any merit at this point because the project is being deleted, apparently. So this is something totally separate on its own that we have to look into right now. So let's see exactly what the Zero Gravity AX Twitter is saying right now. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. All right, so let's see here. I'm actually going to give them a follow. I want to keep up to date with what they're saying. Um... We are going to cancel this project due to the big amount of negativity, um, excuse me, of negative feedback and the discussion about the Blue Falcon and the copyright made our decision easy. The footage on the page was an earlier build and prototype, and it never should have been in the final game in this form, as it is written down on the Kickstarter page. However, we learned from we learned from that, and we understand now that an F Zero indie remake from a small development team is not what you guys want. We thank everyone who shared our campaign and who gave us feedback. So this thing basically died as soon as it was born. Like, I mean, it's kind of fucked up. It's kind of fucked up, man. This project was barely off the ground and suddenly it's shot down. Kind of hard to... Let's take a look at exactly what... Because I know my Nintendo News... I don't know if they covered it, but I know um, Nintendo Everything definitely did. Let's take a look at exactly what the fuck happened to this project. I mean, it seems a little bit vague to us. It's saying that apparently there was a lot of hate... And on top of everything else, they used the Blue Falcon in their promotional images. Maybe it was that which caused Nintendo to come and give them the boom with the C and D. But we don't know the facts. Let's wait until we know the facts and then we can judge. Um, let me see here. I know they covered this. Didn't they cover this? Seven hours ago. Someone covered it. I know that for a fact. Because I saw an article talking about the project being shut down. Which made me say, wow, that's the video topic that I was going to touch upon later on and I was like whoa so let's see here let's see here let's see um, so we have this the articles about the clone itself but we don't have anything in regards to why the clone was shut down per se um, let me see who else would who else would have covered this um, maybe um, who else would have covered this Nintendo 
Nintendo Life? Nintendo Life. Yeah, I think these guys might have done it. Okay. Here we go. So, F-Zero, spiritual successor, Kickstarter, makes classic crowdfunding mistakes. Not a good title. Not a good title in the slightest. Um, F-Zero fans had little to cheer with them in recent times through the barnstorming, but brief, showing a fast racing Neo. That's the one. That's the game. That's the one I was talking about. The one that Nintendo has, which is apparently going to have that fast style that F-Zero also does. Um, not really an F-Zero game, but more of an F-Zero spiritual successor and whatnot. It's not F-Zero and it has its own style, but it is super fast, futuristic racing that's looking rather good. Unfortunately, others are trying to cash in on the continuing absence of F-Zero aren't doing quite so well. We've had readers get in touch about a recent Kickstarter campaign for Zero Gravity AX, a spiritual successor to the F-Zero franchise, and this is actually the terminology that they used in their own campaign. Yet after heading over with excitement, we're left with disappointment. It promises much, with super fast action and even a track editor, with online play as the at its first stretch goal. The game will apparently come to every major platform in 2016, including Wii U. Unfortunately, the campaign made notable errors, highlighted below. The image used in the pitch above is clearly a copy of the Blue Falcon, and the campaign has had to clarify that this will not be in the final game for obvious reasons. It's claimed that the animated GIFs utilizing this are just from an early prototype. There's no pitch video for the campaign, which is also a little bit questionable because if they have all these promotional materials done, which is apparently screenshots from the final game, then why in God's name do you guys not have a video at this point? Or maybe you could have waited until the campaign had a video to show off before you made the thing live for everybody. But I mean, still, it still does look pretty cool. I mean, this is a badass screenshot. I'm not even going to lie with you guys. But um, let me see. The team doesn't introduce itself properly, simply stating it's made up of six racing game, in, um, excuse me, six racing enthusiast gamers. The account name that launched the page is just Dave, and that's something that I noted when I first went to the page. Dave, like what the fuck? The core goal is 115,000 euro, rather than rather high considering the issues highlighted above. With around 28 days to go at the time of writing, this campaign has raised just over 300 euro. Based on the information on the page so far, this is not the F-Zero game that we've been waiting for, not by a long way. Never mind, we do have Fast Racing Nero from Shinen Multimedia on the way. If you haven't seen it in action, check it out below in HD and at 60 frames per second. So it seems like this it seems like this Kickstarter didn't really get shut down by Nintendo per se, but this Kickstarter got shut down by negativity. Or rather, people not... I, I, it seems like the, 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 the campaign wasn't shut down by Nintendo. It couldn't have been because it didn't mention it here. This was shut down because people just didn't like the fact that they used the Blue Falcon. And they didn't have a video either. Like, how, do you, how are you going to talk about crowdfunding and your game getting supported by people when you don't have a video to showcase the thing in action? How do we know what we're supporting per se? I mean, the pictures look nice, but it's just a picture at the end of the day. A picture speaks a thousand words. But a video speaks a lifetime. Like, I mean, I, I don't know. Well, that's, that's a cool for Medica. You know, I'm a philosopher in this bitch. But um, f to me, I can see why this project probably didn't take off too well. And maybe it was canceled by the developer themselves simply because, well, Dave canceled it himself because maybe he just couldn't deal with, I guess, the level of criti criticism and, you know, critique that this thing, old thing was getting. That's what it seems like to me, man. Let's take a look at the campaign one more time. The project will be deleted any minute now. The site has some issues and it can't be deleted at the moment. We thank you for your feedback. And then when we go to their Twitter, it says, we are canceling it through to the amount of negative feedback and discussion about the Blue Falcon and the copyright. Made our decision easy. I don't know, Dave. I mean, if you clarified that the Blue Falcon was just going to be like a promotional image and not something that's going to be in the final game due to copyright, of course, then I don't know. I, the project seemed like it was cool. But at the end of the day, I'm not really too sad about losing it because we didn't have any video footage. We didn't see how this thing would be played out. I mean, the promotional images look nice, but I guess they just didn't bring enough to the table to make their title seem as if it was something reliably found, you know, like like re reliably stable where people can invest their money in it and, you know, not feel like, OK, it's just going to go to waste. Because let's just be honest, man. Crowdfunding is a very mixed bag. There have been a lot of times projects have been proposed. People donated a ton of money to them. And then they wind up falling flat on their face. I can understand why people are holding back a bit because there's too many times that people have gotten burned, including myself, when it comes to um, excuse me, crowdfunding. Yeah, this is just something that I can understand totally. I mean, they weren't shut down by Nintendo. They didn't get a C and D. I'm surprised, to be honest with you, considering that they used the um, the Blue Falcon in their uh, promotional images. 
but this is just a project that didn't take off because they didn't give enough sense of reliability or reassurance or just in general stability in terms of people investing their money in this whole thing. And you can tell, I mean, the campaign didn't really raise that much money considering that it got a ton of publicity. And it's understandable. All they got is a wall of text here. The text is one thing, I know. But when it comes to these campaigns, you got to hit them with every single thing at every single angle. And you not having a video and just a couple of pictures is not going to work for a lot of people. Let's see some comments, actually. I just pledged right now, even though the project is to be canceled, hoping to send a message to Nintendo about F-Zero. Didn't see there were only 31 backers. I guess the message won't be a very strong one. The video was pretty cool, though, and I hope whoever does this will come back with a more original product. So there was a video, apparently? If there was a video, then how come it's not here anymore? Maybe they took it down because of the, um... Let me see. So there was a video, apparently. There was a video from what people are saying. More comments. Let's go to some more comments. Apparently it's being pulled for possibly... Um, for being possibly illegitimate. Copyright infringements, bad spelling. If it comes back, don't back it again. Really now. Let's take a look at this. Why is it being deleted? Yeah, that's what I want to know. Like, give us a straight up blunt answer instead of kind of making it seem like we have to pity you. Um, let me see. It's being deleted. Um, great. You can have the with the mod. Let me see here. Because apparently there was a video now. I mean, our information is getting thrown around a bit. Damn, people are definitely giving their criticism to this whole thing, saying, oh, um, I sense a cease and desist order coming to this very soon. This isn't a spiritual successor. This is plain um, plagiarism. Um, why, why'd they use the Blue Falcon model? It looks like the boost graphics are identical, too. Are they not English speakers? The spelling is awful. It spooks me a bit when it comes to credibility. People are, criti people are very critical of this thing. I can understand why, man. Ready? These guys are definitely down to earth when it comes to expectations of campaigns and crowdfunding. And these guys understand the risk when it comes to giving your money to these kinds of campaigns. Things just didn't seem too solid on the front. There was a video, apparently. So this screenshot that we're seeing here was taken from a video. But I don't know. I'm going to try to search for this video one time so we can watch this on camera. Um, Zero Gravity AX. Let's see. Maybe it's on YouTube. On the YouTube take a look here happy 4th of July down for now. so we have just the picture more pictures I guess oh here we go so we have some video now here we go so let's see um, you know what in order to get the full experience let's actually watch this with audio because I mean my my new to my experience without hearing audio. I mean, the audio could definitely make this seem like a much more intense experience. And, you know, this could possibly be something that we missed out on just for people criticizing it. I mean, I don't know. I can understand why they're criticizing it, though. It makes sense to me. The project seemed like it was a bit shifty. And even though they, I guess they did have the video, that still wasn't enough for certain people. And it did seem like plagiarism as well, too, with the Blue Falcon model basically being ripped. But let's see what's going on. Now, oh man, it's time. It's time. Time to show you guys some gameplay of this. Oh man, you have shout no out to idea. um shout out to uh, Mua. Oh, Mua. Let me oh I just can't believe this is happening right now. I just hope Nintendo so, does not take it down. This guy has the same concerns as I did when I first saw this project in um, my Twitter notifications box. I was like, okay, well, let's see how much time it takes until Nintendo shuts this bitch down. And apparently they didn't even have to Nintendo like coexist. Team up with these people, create an F Zero. Saw, uh, look at this. Oh my Ooh. god, I just okay. can't believe it. When I saw this on Twitter, some they called me nice. Johnny tweeted this out saying, If you guys enjoy F Zero, you will like this. And I'm like, Okay, so I ended up clicking on the link. It was this, it was this. I can't believe. Oh my, some call. Oh man, I have to ask you something. Some call me Johnny. How can you say that so casually in that tweet? How? How? I don't understand. You know what? Let me talk. This guy must be really disappointed because this project is no more. I don't know, man. They didn't catch the CND. 
I mean, sure, they caught some criticism, but I don't think the right way to go about it was to totally shut it down. I mean, obviously, you know, I'm, I'm no stranger when it comes to catching critique from people. There's a lot of people that hate me for a reason or not. Either way, when you catch that criticism, man, all you do is improve. You, 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 okay, your spelling errors in the campaign, understandable. Well, fix it. Fix it. Uh, make everything better, you know? I mean, come up with a prototype video that doesn't showcase the fucking Blue Falcon and copyright issues. And um, then you might have something a bit more solid. The video looks good for a starter gameplay, to be honest with you guys. I mean, I don't think there's an issue here with the gameplay other than the Blue Falcon. Just make it... Just fix those errors, man. That's all you guys had to do, really. I mean, it sucks that... Uh, it seems like there was a lot of progress made on this whole thing. I mean, if that's actual gameplay and not just like a CGI or, or rather just a cinematic scene. Like, if that's gameplay and somebody's controlling that, then I mean, it's not a bad start, guys. Like, it really isn't. And it sucks to see that this whole thing is shutting down simply because I guess they couldn't handle the heat in this fucking kitchen called the internet, man. There's going to be a lot of people throwing shit your way, man. And, you know, you, you, either, you either swim in the shit and you rise to the top or, or you sink in that bitch. And these guys sunk, man. Definitely. But, um, guys, let me know what you think about this whole thing. I hope you stayed around with the whole video. Some people might say, oh, Etika, there was footage in the fucking campaign, but you didn't stick around, so you didn't see it, you ignorant nigger. You know what I mean, probably get a couple comments like that. <laughs> probably get a couple comments like that. But, I mean, still, I did manage to see the video. Um, I like what I see. I just wish it didn't give up so fast. I mean, fix the errors, man. It would have been cool to see this come to some kind of fruition if Nintendo didn't stomp it out. Guys, I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.